So far, we understood a chain rule when two functions are involved. Now, can we make it more complicated? Yes, there is. We need to still learn chain rule. Like, let's say you have a y is equal to sine of log of x is what we learned, right? So we know that there are two chains or two functions, basically log function and sine function. When I differentiate this, it goes like dy by dx. And this time, I need to differentiate sine as cos. And whatever is inside this log x remains and I got to differentiate log x in the next step all right this is what we learned in the previous sessions now it was easy I differentiated sine I got this answer this cos of log x yep and 1 by x is my answer fine this is a very simple chain where you have only two functions I can say two chains all right now what if I have more chains this is let's call it as chain basically the functions all right so if I say y is equal to sine of and log of and you have tan of x now I can see tan is inside or, or x is inside tan and the whole tan x is inside log and the log of tan x is inside sine so it means there are three chains now how do you work with these kind of problems look at this so for this uh, let's talk about a small story is very interesting story okay uh, we're talking about let's say a princess and we call princess as x all right now Princess is uh, inside a jail, right? And the jail has got these many walls, basically captivated, all right? Now you're supposed to be a prince. Now what are you trying to do? Is basically trying to save the princess. So what is happening? So if I have to break this wall first, next wall, and the next wall, then you reach the princess. Now that's what's called chain rule, okay? Now who is the outermost wall? This guy, let's talk in that example. Let's say this guy is sign, all right? And not X sine wall okay the next wall is log wall and the next wall is tan wall and you reach the princess that's how it works now <clears throat> if you have to play the game what's happening first break the outermost wall or in this case first break the outermost function so how do you break sine it becomes cos what is inside anything which was there just write it off I'm just breaking sine as cos because differentiation of sine is cos I will not take sine x and cos x now I just take differentiation of sine as cos that's it and whatever was inside is right here now what else am I supposed to do I just broke the outermost wall it means I still I'm supposed to break these two walls so I'll write that I'm just writing so I broke sine as this thing and what is inside is to break log and tan so differentiation of log of tan x remains okay this is what I do need to do in the next step let's go ahead so let me write this as uh, cos of log tan x this was what I did in the first step now I'm supposed to differentiate log tan x how will I differentiate log anything like log it goes like 1 by x right in the previous videos we've seen that so if I differentiate log it goes like 1 by whatever is inside log would come down that is tan x Okay, differentiation of log x is 1 by x, differentiation log tan x is 1 by tan x. And I differentiated log, it means I broke the second wall. Now, what is inside? I still have to break this wall, that is, I still have to differentiate tan x. So, this is my pending work, which I'll keep it. Alright, so in the first step, I broke sine, in the next stage, I broke log. All right, so log goes like 1 by whatever is inside log. And the next, the last stage, the third wall is about tan. So I'll break this guy. So I'll write this. This is what I've done. So I'll keep writing this log of tan x. Nothing to do here because no differentiation sign. 1 by tan x, no differentiation sign. So here, I need to still break this wall. It means how do you break tan? That is secant squared of x. And that's it. Into I can write d by dx of x, which becomes 1. So I don't write that. So that's how it works. So I can see that I can break three chains, all right? So is it possible I get more than three chains? Let's say another chain. It means another wall. So let's write a function uh, of a, a problem for this. So this guy is sine and let this guy is uh, root of, all right? So root of sine of log of tan x. So my, my question goes like a root of, and it goes like sine and log of tan x. All right, see. I have to first break this function, the root function. Inside the root function, I have is a sine function. Inside the sine function, log function, and inside this guy is tan function. So that's what it is. 
So now there are four walls. So how do I break this thing? So first thing I have to do is this guy. So break this guy. How do you differentiate root x? That is 1 by 2 root of whatever is inside. That's it. So 1 by 2 root of this whole thing goes sine of log of tan x. Correct? That's it. If you remember, y is equal to root x. How do you differentiate this guy? 1 by 2 root x a into dx d by dx of x we did this right we don't write this because it cancels up 1 by 2 root x is the answer but in this case whatever is inside should come here and i got to differentiate what all is inside so a into differentiation of who is inside this okay let me erase this that's a simple story if you can connect the story to differentiation and in chain rule for more than two or three chains it becomes very easy now i broke this guy so what is inside i still have to do differentiation for sine of log of tan of x that's it yeah very simple now my job is done with the outermost wall so i keep writing this guy that is two root of sine log tan x and how will i differentiate sine differentiation of sine is cos and who is inside sine this whole thing comes up that is log tan x now i finish this with the guy now what did i break here i finish breaking root then i finish breaking sine so what is next what is next log so i need to do this in the next step d by dx of log of tan x we'll see how to work with this guy a little later okay in the next step now what happens this guy is one by two root of sine log tan x all right into cos i'm not touching this guy because there's nothing no differentiation sign here so i just need to write this okay fine very nice so what else is that i got to differentiate log of tan x correct so how do you differentiate log that is one by whatever is inside log that is tan x into differentiation of tan x so this is my last step i can do in the next step see what happens i keep writing this guy that is one by i can write this whole stuff i'll write this whole thing again and one by tan x i'll write like that and how do i differentiate tan x that is secant squared x yes that's my answer so these two guys would come just the same so now we understand if it is more than one chain what to do break the outermost chain and the next chain and the next chain and the next chain till you reach x and that's all this is what is chain rule. Very simple. Right, let's do a couple of more problems to understand this better. All right.